You've got your evaporative cooler. Yes. With uh, this is another idea for using biochar. Biochar. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. 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 So you do you sprinkle the water down on it? You're supposed to. I need to, to, to put the water. What is an evaporative out? cooler? So cool. when water is on something, and then is the energy it takes to evaporate it pulls that energy out. So if you have this is why we sweat. When we're sweating, our body is producing the water on top. As it evaporates into the air, it takes that heat away from our body. So it's the same kind of concept with that here, is that you wet this. If you have a, if you have a draw of air, so if you have an extractor fan on the inside pulling air through it, yes. that warm air comes through, it gets it, the heat is pulled out by the water and the charcoal, and you get cold air on the inside. So you could do this in a way of actually pre-cooling air, before going into a house or something like that. So then your air conditioner wouldn't work nearly as hard to cool that air. Or you can use this as a means of then having things inside that need cool but not cold temperatures. Mm -hmm. So if you were doing mushrooms, this time of year something like this would be very useful because you could cool the air inside without having to put energy into it. Yes. The energy is just in putting the water on and the fan to pull mm -hmm. it through. So what do you use it for, Annie? This one is my food bag. Oh, that's another fantastic use then, where you need to keep things cool. Mm. The carpenter was working on this dose. You feel yeah, the temperature you can feel there's at least a three or four temperature uh, degree drop in temperature in here. Yes. So if you have something like this and then you site it underground, you get even further cooling, further cooling. because it's underground essentially. Yes. But uh, this is this is it's a, this is an alternative to having like a cellar, mm -hmm. where you can store I need my vegetables. Bokash. And... My bokash is nice and cool there. Yeah. You need that kind of two things, and uh, this is the time where I pack my seed. I'm sorting them out, and then mm. eventually when everything is. Just when you're preparing, when we have uh, lessons going, this is the last group that made this pokash. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. So, then uh, we sell it. Yeah, no, any, any, um, any products. I, I think the one thing is, in farming, we have it such in our mind here in Zambia that I grow something and I sell that. Yes. Tomato, cucumber, whatever it is. Yes. Without understanding, actually, Farming, there's many different things that products that you can be producing. You can produce it, yes. You know, it doesn't have to just be the ones that people specifically eat. It can also be the inputs. The well. inputs as well. Yeah, so yeah. we are that connected with that kind of thing. Yeah, charcoal is amazing. Yeah, so what you would normally do is on the far side, have an extractor fan there. Yeah. With this door closed, dripping water on the charcoal, mm -hmm. the extractor fan would be pulling air inside out, which okay. is then drawing air from outside in through the charcoal walls and cooling as you go. Yeah. So hmm. you'd be able to get in here after a while and it would be this probably like five or six degrees, to, you know, quite a bit, quite a bit uh, cooler. So I think I'll put one of those drums up here, mm -hmm. so I'll put the, yeah. the dripper, yeah. so Just it'll be dripping in here. Yeah. Hmm. It'll be dripping in here. Fascinating. You're just going to have to make sure that you're not allowing that drippage to fall onto your no, onto you your um, products. Kind of okay. And then, then at the end here, you can see No, that's fantastic. I haven't seen anybody... I've heard people have done this, but I haven't seen anybody who's done it yet. Oh, okay. It's nice to see that that is also being tried. Yes. Because there's, you can do this on a commercial scale and not have to be putting in AC units everywhere. Exactly. All right. You could do something like this in your own home. We're crying of fridges and what, what, what? Yeah. <laughs> and have a natural thing where you're using a carbon source that then stays. Yes. And you're just... A little bit of water, a little bit of water, and you'll have plenty of water yes. soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. <laughs>